and ask yourself, do I cause pain in the life of anyone else? If the answer is yes, then you have a lot of work to do. Do you cause pain to someone else? Perhaps someone living with you, someone working with you, someone above you, below you in authority, in financial standing or whatever else it may be. Do you hurt people? Do you cause pain? Well, I can tell you what, if you cause pain, pain shall be caused upon you or to you as well. It will come back at some point. It's the promise of Allah. You do and it shall be done. If not today, then after 10 years. So what's the way out? Because I've given the punch and I'm expecting a punch after 10 years, perhaps a bigger punch. But now I regret before being punched. What should I do? Well, I need to make amends by seeking the forgiveness of Allah, by reaching out to the person if I can and saying, I'm sorry. And sometimes if you're too shy to say, I'm sorry for what I did, you can just say, Salam Alaikum, you know, we're going for Umrah. Please forgive me for everything I said or did that may have hurt you or caused pain. And so, so it's a general blanket seeking of forgiveness. It could happen. And sometimes you may not have access to that person. That's the worst type of harm you could have inflicted another. When you don't even have access to the person, you barely know them. In the age of social media, this is happening a lot where you said something, you retweeted something, you reposted something that was hurtful and harmful against a person you don't even know. You may never ever know in your life. How are you going to make amends with that type of a person when you don't even know them, you don't have access to them, but you have a debt that you owe them basically. That's very dangerous.